Hello everyone, my name is Tanner and long time now speak. Um, there hasn't been a video on this channel for quite some time, but I thought that a way to kind of get myself back into things in terms of interesting history is to go back on a video that when I originally made it didn't think that it was going to do as well as it did. Um, and there's multiple reasons why it did, not necessarily because of what I said in it um, or what it's about, but more because a larger channel made a video that was very similar to it um, shortly afterwards. And so a lot of traffic is driven towards this video. And um, I kind of, I mean, I want to go through the comments of this video and kind of provide my feedback, not necessarily feedback, but what I thought at the time of making the video, uh, because we have all these different, these comments, man, look at, look at how shaggy I look. And people actually comment on that in there. We have 67 comments since February. Um, 5,000 views, um, which is way more than I thought we would get. So let's start at the very bottom. I think that's, do I have it sorted by very bottom? Have it sort by newest first. Okay. And the reason why I also do this is because I literally get comments multiple times a week for this video. And, um, I think it'd be easier if I made a video to kind of comment back on it. So first up is empty. I love this video, but seriously, dude, are you shaggy from Scooby-Doo? That freaking resemblance. I guess I supposedly at the time had it. I had the, I mean, I still have some facial hair. I need to shave though. This is my, my two week stubble. Um, I suppose tall, skinny, it's an easy resemblance. Um, what did the people say there? Script and speech was well done. I have to say that was really not a nice to look at. Well, thank you. I prefer. I think it'd be better if it was more focused on your face. Yeah, I mean, it's a very low production <laughs> setup. As you can tell right now, I'm using a light that's up to my left and it's dark in the rest of the room. So what can you do? The, this, this channel wasn't necessarily made to... Um, use webcam. It was mostly going to be like audio and video based stuff. But as I got less time to make videos, it became like, Hey, what can I talk about really quick in like five minutes and put up on the channel? So that's what you got here. Uh, shave off the beard. I did it shortly after I'm sure it's a, like I said, it's a two week thing. I, sh I normally shave it off on Sundays, but we were busy last night. Brendan Graff. Yeah, I agree. It wasn't like the French fighting man was a coward that didn't want to fight. It was just that their leaders did not understand modern wars as well as the Germans did and failed to learn after losses. The saying lines led by donkeys comes to mind here as they lost so badly in the world wars. Um, and that's kind of, you have this narrative going in the comments right now. You have the people that were like, bah, always blame the leaders for stuff. And then you have the other people that are like, bah, yeah, you're right. It's the leader's fault. And that was the position I had taken in this video was the fact that World War One, um, the idea that the French leaders continually looked for ways to break through the German lines and win the war, when really all they had to do was play the defensive because the Germans were landlocked and blockaded. They weren't going to be able to do a long, drawn-out war. Uh, comments to his, though, as far as I know, they put hell of a fight in. Yeah, very true, very true. Uh, quite impressive, yes, from the French. I have a puppy playing behind me. Intro is too long. Uh, yes. I think I would agree. Um, I don't know if I'll use the intro all that much longer. Um, at least you enjoyed the rest of the video. I do appreciate that. Super interesting video. Good job. Thank you, Goldstein Lampshade. I took the easy ones out there. Collins Plays, which comes over from the gaming channel. Thank you very much for the comment. Maple Leaf as well. Jerome Fecto. Oh, the only reason a UK was not fucked in the ass. Oh, man. Now this video is demonetized. Uh, in the butt by the Germans is because they're on an island. Um, yeah, I think you're probably right. British Air Force kept the German Air Force at bay which means the Germans couldn't land in Britain. Otherwise, that's an entirely different story. Um, I'm going to assume that all of these comments are <laughs> back and forth on whether or not Britain could be invaded by the Germans. 
and that's uh yeah and we have the dumb usa comment which um, happens quite a bit in here uh, hey some wife jokes good we'll skip those dude where were you in monty python in the holy grail um i played sir robin um if you remember correctly he ran away the french did not like being occupied by germany but given final liberation in 1945 they went right back to the occupation of vietnam very true ralph goober it's very interesting when you occupy someone else's land how willing you are to occupy it when you yourselves don't want to be occupied um young david thank you for the comment it's a common troop our trope friends are a bunch of losers and cowards in fact the opposite is the case over the thousand years and that's kind of the point I had made is a lot of the time up into pretty much the Franco-Prussian, France was deemed as the best military land power in Europe. And even after the First World War, when they made German uh, Germany um, give up all their weapons and not, you know, be, not be able to create more than a 1,000 man army, air quotes, um, they were still deemed the best army on mainland Europe, um, which obviously turned out. To be true. So in summary, the French are surrender monkey, canard, just Anglo-Saxon. Yes. One K keeping you as a French point and fighting each other. <laughs> because France smells bad. Granted, cherry picking the wars where France was a co-belligerent and lost is okay for looking at why France loses wars, but not like it. But not to look at why France seems to lose all the time. They don't. Cherry picking the wars where France was a co belligerent. They weren't a co belligerent in the First World War or the Second. I mean, sure, they fought it with other people, but they were main fronts in the war. That would be like saying the US invasion of Iraq was a failure because of Germany, is kind of, I think, what. Like, that's the sort of comparison I think of. They're not a co-belligerent in that war. Like, if you're a major power fighting a war, you're not a co-belligerent in my eyes. You're, you're, you're taking the stress on your own shoulders. Um, but my point in this specific video was to show post-Franco-Prussian why leadership of France has caused them to lose wars. Um, that was the point of the video. I mean, I could have talked about all the other times when they were really good, but I was just pointing out the fact that since a certain time period, they haven't necessarily done all that well in arms conflict. So he's saying there aren't cheat cheese eating surrender monkeys. Yeah, that is very true. France is maybe more. France winning more battles than anyone else in history. Yeah, see? Exactly the point that I just made. So basically, military and failure, anyway, by trash talking the leadership of the losing party, you show no proof of that, give no arguments, you just claim it. This is, is meant to be like a five minute informative video. Um, I mean, if people write theses on this sort of stuff way like way more in depth. Um, the point of this channel isn't to bore people out of their minds it's to provide arguments that other people can discuss, which is what you guys have done in the comments. Um, there could be you could talk for 25 hours on the different conflicts individually about where the French leadership went wrong in this conflict, in this conflict, in this month, in this day, in this hour. Why did they do this? So, I'm, and especially considering that the events in this video specifically, um, it's not the time to do that, Arwen. Um, I can see what you're saying, but like I said, it's a short informative video. If you watch a video on the Second World War in two minutes, and it's uh, Germany invades Poland, Germany beats France, Germany invades the Soviet Union, and you're like, well, none of this happened, and you didn't explain any of this, it's because it's a two minute video informing you on certain things. What this channel is meant to do is it's a largely US based audience. Maybe I'm trying to provide more information on other nations that just isn't the US. But thank you for your comment, Yol. Scott, consistently have weak leadership because overall, on average, the French are weak. Meh. Look at Europe with the massive. Oh, here we go. Uh, okay, yep, we're going to skip on that one. One war and some of what Bush said about France not fighting Iraq inspired all of this. 
I think I would be entirely agreeing with you here, James. Um, I don't necessarily think that it's um, historians saying this. I think it's a lot of, and I don't know if I mentioned it in the video or not, but I get a lot of this sense when I was over in Europe with other Americans that served in the military, that that is part of the culture in the U.S. military is the French surrendering. Uh, let's see. The French did not really lose World War One. They didn't. But, like I said, if their tactics would have been a little bit different, they wouldn't have lost as many people as they did. They didn't... Uh, but yes, much better than they did in the Second World War. Very true. Uh, US bringing hundreds of... Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Uh, France lost World War Two. okay. But one, it's a great... Ingl most effort, even with such an unencrypted, undermanned army, displayed so much courage and tenacity for four years, once again, saved the Russians. As many of you know, France historically has the highest number of victories in military history, something I don't give. Yeah. Thank you, Yossi, for your comments. I don't really understand this one. Um, they're a nuclear power, so that's all you really need to know in the modern era. Um... I don't know if he meant to comment to someone directly here, but closest ally along with the UK, it's not all about America. I didn't make the point here that the Americans saved the French. I don't. I I didn't make that point. You came in at the end, um, for three years before World War Two. Uh, took two years and another battle, and that's to this day. Stop making it all about America. Yep, I that wasn't what this video was about. But thanks for watching. How things change. German here. Touch my French brothers. See, this is the sort of mentality you need to have from Destilu. Remind you that the whole world did ban Germans from holding a gun altogether. They... Jesus Christ, dog. She was asleep. But yeah, we need more brotherhood, right? Simple one-sentence answer. France is the most liberal country. The population, to the most part, at least the ones that I've been in, or at least the ones that have been in power for the last few decades, are cowards. Here we go. Cowards that we don't mean hurt people's feelings, even at the expense of their own people. They're led by cowards who are more communist than capitalist. Their army is hardly used. They don't contribute enough to the UN for the keeping themselves safe or sticking up for themselves against, for instance. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, if you actually count every little war was involved in, they actually slight. Like, yeah, see, I the point was recently. Everyone recently, France has not done in large armed conflicts. Well, uh, they don't lose wars most of the time. Very true. Here we go. One hundred kingdoms. They love Germany. Okay, more migrant comments. Super duper. Easy, big ego, tiny balls. Um, oh, maybe he's talking about the French here. My first thought was maybe he was talking about me. Oh, that could be true. Yeah, maybe the leadership. Uh, mostly cleaned up after everyone packed, uh, came across. This is another um, U.S. came to save the day comment, isn't it? Millions of billions of dollars that they had to squeeze out of the central banks to rebuild their country. Imagine 10, imagine right as stuff is getting normalized again, you find people are starting to stuff up again, are starting stuff up again. You've got interesting embezzlement in red. Why does Italy lose wars? That's another great question. It's difficult to say the French under Napoleon did well. They just had too many enemies. Um... Yeah, but I think you could argue that the end of Napoleon was kind of the beginning of all of that. Concerning World War One, 80 American million population in age able to fight. Well, 19 million were including one-year-olds uh, because the time of the French population was around 40 million. Let's 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 look that up actually. U.S. population 2014. Uh, when I said 2014, I actually meant 1914. So the U.S. at 1914 had 99 million. And you said 80 million American males. So 90 million total pop. I'm going to say it's probably 50-50, so 45 million. Um, right about what, the, what was the French population. Because the French actually had a draft. 
So they had to fight, or, well, a lot of them did. France, population, 1914. I've obviously Googled this before. 39 million total. So yeah, I mean, U.S. had double the military men, but they also are military age men, I should say. Um, but the U.S. didn't have a draft until later on in the war. They also, yeah, um, it, the video, the point of the video wasn't to argue, but the difference between the two. Uh, World War Two. Uh, the military definitely noticed because the British brought French troops back with them. Um, France plus UK army had been crushed. So how could France alone keep fighting the German tank and win? I think if they, it's the the idea of defending that you just you can't have stationary defenses you can't build up a wall and think that a wall is going to stop it the idea in specific about this video was the fact that in world war ii the french leadership tactics weren't up to date after watching i mean it's tough to switch up your tactics that you've been training everyone on in six months but they you know Another one of those times in history where you're like, well, why didn't they just do that? It would have been so much easier. So, yeah. And then there's a bunch of comments that need to be reviewed. And I'm sure they're more like migrant, immigrant stuff. So I'm just going to avoid that, like the plague. Um, so, yeah, this is just thank you guys for all you, your comments. Um, I just wanted to kind of go back on them because you can see I don't respond to any of these because I don't really like doing flame war stuff. And that's what all of that would turn into so um there's going to be more videos on this channel coming very shortly i'm working on my top 10 presidents video um i have the script done i just need to get everything else set up and then um we'll be back on the roll so thank you guys very much for tuning in and uh i'll talk to you hopefully sometime soon